Good morning. Today is Saturday, August 22nd, week number 90. Is it? it yes. Yeah. Is. I was going to mess that up because I really didn't know. <laughs> Nine, 90, week 90. Nine zero. That's my job. That's your job. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, uh, we had a really good week. Uh, mm -hmm. We went for two bike rides. Mm -hmm. We rode for over two hours. Yeah. Uh, we went to a botanical garden, so we had a blast. I loved the trail. That was yes. in Ann Arbor. Yes. And the other one was uh, Kensington in, uh, what is that, Milford? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Kensington Metro Park. Really, both really good paths, really good rides. Beautiful yeah. day, 70 degrees. Couldn't beautiful. get a better day. Yeah. I yeah. think we rode almost 20 miles. Yeah, over. Over, over 20. 20 miles. Yeah, when you combine them. So, uh, yeah, we did really well. Yeah. We were scheduled to go for a ride today. My back has been out, and I've just not been able to function lately. So uh, that kind of got scrubbed. But we're just going to spend the time cleaning house, organizing, doing laundry, doing some catch-up. Yeah. You know, the things that everybody puts off <laughs> that we need to get done. So I it's not a bad thing. I actually a vacation day, so I'm off both places today. Yeah, it's very nice. So it's unusual. So it's a little later. We slept in. So I get to see you all day. Yeah, yeah. I slept in today. I'm going to make some fathead pizzas for dinner tonight. And, um, awesome. I'm excited. Uh, we're packing up our daughter. She moves into her apartment next week. Oh, you know, we're doing all of our talking, but we need to get our numbers in. Because oh. sometimes people can't sit Sorry. through all that. Yes. So let's see. <laughs> Last week, I was 328.2. And this week, I was 330.0, so I'm up 1.8. Got a lot of junk going on. Got some uh, things with my kidney, and I've got some things with my gut, my gastrointestinal. I've seen a couple specialists, taking some medicines, feeling pretty horrible, trying to get all that stuff resolved. I don't think it's a keto thing. Yeah. I'm pretty set in my carb manager and schedules. Yeah. If I can get some of these other things moving and grooving, I'll be feeling a lot better, and I'll be moving more, and I'll be doing fine. But like usual, we're checking in every Saturday, just letting you know. We're a real couple, you know. Super we are? Keto, real couple. Aww. Yep, for decades. Yes, decades, <laughs> so, literally. <laughs> so, you know, we're just telling you how it is. I don't have any miraculous stories or, you know, before or after sucking the gut and stick out the gut. No, <laughs> nothing like that. It's just us. So, uh, yeah, I'm up a little bit this week. Yeah. I weighed in last week at 138. Uh, this morning I weighed at 137.8, so only 0.2. Um, however, I did go to the doctors and I got a full release. So um, September 3rd, I go back to my regular schedule, which will be all over the warehouse um, and lots of walking, lots more of activity. activity. Um, so I'm excited for that. I still have a few issues, you know, it's still bugging me. I Arthritis will be forever now. What is that um, stuff that you're using? Is Voltran? Vol something? Voltaren. Voltaren, like a aspirin cream kind of yeah, thing? Yeah, it's for arthritis. And I, ha I have to say, it's expensive, but is boy, helping? it sure does work. Um, and then the other thing we just started was uh, infrared heat therapy. Yeah. I don't know if that's going to be effective or not, but they've got this little infrared heat lamp thing. It's, it's kind nice of, and warm, which I love. Yeah, you're kind of like a little salamander under a hot light. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's nice and warm and it supposedly helps with healing and stuff so yeah. i'm hoping that'll help her too we'll see got it on amazon okay. <laughs> amazon i don't amazon. know that you know what that is i do i do you do i'll show you later oh you gonna show me yeah. how to shop so on amazon i'm hoping that helps her sure i'll, I'll show you <laughs> yeah, i was gonna say he's gonna keep going over that i'll just make your own account for you oh is that how that works yeah, okay that's how it works no problem but uh yeah so we move our daughter into her apartment next week um, we're also going camping next week aren't we uh not this weekend. Monday, but the following Monday, um, the 31st. Oh, so um, after next week's update. Yes. Okay. So we're going to uh, have a cabin, a camper cabin at yeah. the Pickney Recreation Area. So we're excited for that. Uh, cool. Lauren won't be able to join us because she'll be into her in school. Bruce, right. In, in classes. Julia um, is going to bring her friend with us. Supposedly. So we'll it'll see. just be nice. It'll just uh, be three days that. Uh, Take some board games, some card games. Yeah. Hang out, walk around the lake, yeah. that kind of fun stuff. So I'm excited. Forward to it. Yeah. Trying to get Stacy talked into the idea of getting a little hop up. We need to camp in Yeah, did you hear how there was crickets there for a moment? <laughs> Cricket. <laughs> we need to camp in one first before Stacy's idea of camping is Hampton Inn and Bob Evans Breakfast. 
No, I don't like Bob Evans. I have breakfast. Yeah, like I have. You used to like I have when you had pancakes, when you could do pancakes, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Blueberry pancakes were my favorite. Now we just do scrambled eggs. Yes. Scrambled eggs and sausage, scrambled eggs and bacon, scrambled eggs and ham. He made me breakfast. I did. Morning. I made you scrambled eggs and bacon. Yes. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Yeah. I made so. them for all the girls. Julia ate them, Lauren ate them, Stacy ate them, and I ate them the other day. Yeah. I made for breakfast. I felt like a little short order cook. Short order cook. Fast as I get a pan going, I just get another one. He no. made lunch for me too the other day. Yeah. I didn't do anything all day. Nice. Well, that's not true. I cut the grass, did the yard work. And yeah, we're <laughs> doing other stuff. So. But he made, the, he made the food. You do what you can. Yeah. You know, you pitch in, I'm good at this, you're good at that. We just kind of make it work. Yes. That's how it works 30 years now, right? Yes. <laughs> so. But yeah, um, the other thing we were looking at trying to do today was you were going to make some fat heads. Yeah. Um, there is a, a cookie that I like. I call it a crack cookie. We actually got the recipe from Greg and Stacy over at Keizu Keto who got it, I believe, from a book or something. Yeah. And, and we've all kind of played with it. They played with it and we played with it. We've made it a few times. Yeah. And, and now we've changed it up a little more, uh, taking a lot of the sweetener out. I don't like as much sweetness as there was to it. And, uh, and and I think we might try and do a little recipe of it because yeah. we're really close to making it like I'm really happy with it. So we might try that tonight. If yeah. not tonight, maybe tomorrow night. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be fun. So, but other than that, what do we got on this list? Anything else to talk about? Yeah. No, we got our weights in. So, um, yeah, just a little babble from us as usual on a Saturday morning. And it's not rushed, which is, which is kind of nice. Yeah, it is. You should like, okay, gotta go. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, you're usually watching the clock above the camera here and just, okay, see you later. Right. See ya. And then I don't see her at all till 11 o'clock at night. I'm heading back to regular schedule soon. Yay. I'm excited. It'll be good. Will you be uh, more like a, like a 10 to 6? Yep. So that might be not so bad. See I've been you at doing night. some 10.30s at night um, at Costco and then... Uh, just weird hours. Just weird, yeah. yeah. And then, of course, I took vacation this week from both places. I ended up working at Costco because our vacation got canceled. We were supposed to be in Vegas. Uh, so I didn't want to just waste the time. So I figured I'll save it. And then, yeah, bank it um, so you can use it another time. Yeah, so we can go somewhere and uh, be away from home for a little bit. Um, but it's been nice. So I haven't worked at all in the evening for Camus. So I keep thinking, oh. Oh, I'm supposed to be at work, and I'm, I'm not. And that's the funny thing. She works for Camus for the DNR for the reservations, yeah. and I can't even get her to go camping. So get her to go to this cabin and go for walks and stuff, and then any time, time we see a pop-up or an RV, I'm going to say, see that one? We should get that one. See one of those? We should get one of those. <laughs> Anybody will. who's a camper, put it in the comments. Stacy needs to go camping. We used to camp all the time when I was a kid. You didn't tent camp, though. You used to... RV camp. R yeah. Well, I'd love when to get I an RV. When, Do you have the money for that? I don't. No, I got the money for a pop-up. I don't have the money for an RV. But wait a minute. You have to understand. <laughs> when Bill says, yeah, I camped all the time as a kid. And I was yeah, like, really? We did. I, then he, I said, because we used to camp with my sister and my dad and my grandpa. We used to go camping. And the definition and of camping is what? <laughs> we camped in a tent and we slept on sleeping bags. On, I'm sorry you know. for you. You don't <laughs> have to, you don't have to sleep on a tent on the ground and roll around in the rocks. But you that's could what use I an knew. Air mattress, you could, you know. <laughs> that's what I knew as camping. So when he said he camped, there was you were roughing it. I, <laughs> he says, "Yeah, RV camp." I'm like, "Well, that's not the same camping." No, still fun. We were I hardly ever in the RV. We were out at the lake or running yeah. around the woods or getting ticks in our body and you know whatever. We used to get bit by leeches. That was gross with the yeah. Wisconsin Dells. But uh, I would not that I would uh, mind RV camping. I've never, I've never. Told Stacy we should do more camping. We should get an RV and then we'll do some RV like from the campsite. Uh -huh. Keto RV. We could make our own cookbook. Keto RV cookbook. Oh, okay. Just stick a hot dog on a stick and cook. <laughs> no bun, no nothing. Oh. Sugar free ketchup on it. <laughs> I don't know. That's crazy. Oh well. Why do I love you? I love too. <laughs> Couldn't do marshmallows though, right? No, those are full of sugar. Oh, yeah, probably. Have to figure out some RV camping keto things. I'm such a basic eater. You know, I have been doing my intermittent fasting, getting back to the keto stuff. Uh, my 16-8 windows 
I did not get a fast in this week. We did a lot more activity this week yeah. with the bikes. So I'm a little shocked that I'm up a little. But um, what I was going to go towards was I've actually put a whole lot more greens in my week. Um, mm -hmm. This entire week I did not eat chicken, which is odd for me because that's what my staple core food was. Probably 70% chicken. Yeah. And I didn't make a piece of chicken all week. Um, I had salads instead. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to like help some things in my stomach and uh, give my kidneys a little bit of a break because yeah. they've been processing so much proteins and they're kind of like hmm, not efficiently working. So a lot of water, a lot of, you know, that kind of stuff. So I was actually a little surprised I'm up a little. Haven't really had much swelling this week, but yeah. uh, so I think that the flushing is helping too. But it will. haven't quite got figured out, you know, not like stopping my keto or anything i'm just not progressing the way i want to progress yeah but i gotta get some of these other medical things out of the way just get them addressed and start feeling human get my kidneys working yes. get my gastrointestinal stuff working without making me every day feel blah yeah yeah so i'm trying we'll get there yep and my doctor appointment for the gastro got pushed back to the end of next month now, so I have to wait to the end of September to see them. Yeah, kind of he was tipped. supposed to go September 1st, and then they yeah. called and said, oh, Cancel. we oops and made it, it's a video only, and that's not... So that put me off another four weeks. Right. So now i got to wait till the end of September to see them. Not happy about that. Yeah. Not Goes cool. to the ENT for his ears. Oh, my ears have been horrible. Yeah. I'm trying to get that straightened out, too. We're, we're, yeah, we're on the, on the right path. He's got tubes in his ears that he got a few years ago. Like and, a baby. Uh, <laughs> like a big baby. Yeah, I do have ear tubes. And uh, they were supposed to help me here. They didn't help me here. The one it's, is sideways in his ear. It's been a, It's been many years. It's probably been about three or four years now. And my hearing is worse than ever. I went in to get them looked at. One was totally twisted. And the other one is blocked and kind of turned. And what's happening is they're getting inflamed. And then they're coming down and it creates these micro tears so then everything bleeds in my ear and, uh, and then it gets all scabbed up it we have a pretty looks... cool cam uh, camera from amazon i was gonna say you know where i got it amazon <laughs> uh now i've got this thing it looks like an iphone i'm so excited i'm such a dork it, it's like an iphone it's got a little cord and it's got this stick it looks like a thin pencil yeah and you you can use it like a scope up your nose down your throat in your ear wherever endoscope um, but yeah, so I can see the tubes in my ears and I could see the progress with the medicines that they've given me for the years. Yeah. I've seen like four different specials in the last couple of weeks for different things. But if I can get this ear stuff corrected too, that'll help me with my dizziness. I don't know, some of the people who follow us know that in the past, like in the last six to nine months or so, I've fallen probably a good half dozen times. So I don't have very good balance. Um, I'm having trouble with balance and everything. Yeah. I have a very strange hearing. I have like maybe maybe 20% out of this year, and then this year is maybe 60% or so, and they, and they fluctuate. Some days I can't hear a thing. Right. I can't even hear the TV. We have the closed captioning on the TV for stays for hearing issues, but I'm finding myself reading it constantly because I can't hear anything. Yeah, that camera is pretty cool though. Um, it's very cool. I actually put them in my ears because Growing up, I'm the only one in my family um, that's partially deaf, and growing up, my grandmother used to always say, clean your ears out, and then you'll hear better. So, yeah, of course, this, you like, know. phobia of cleaning well, your yeah, ears out. Yeah, and every time I go to an audiologist or anything, they're like, your ears are really clean. <laughs> and, and, and I don't I'm know, it's just because trying. that's what has always been said to me. And um, so we put the, took the scope in my ears and... You're I know. So good. When I take my hearing aids off, I always just feel like they should They're be dirty. filthy, dirty. Right. You know, and uh, so when we did the camera, I was like, "Oh, my ears are really clean." <laughs> yeah, your ears look good. Mine look so, horrible. They're all full scabs and bad. Yeah. Cocky. But they look great. He did them. He's been doing drops yeah. for the last week, just yeah, over a week. six days, seven days. Something and like that. Um, he's been doing the drops in there, which is clearing up everything that's going on so they can better assess, assess the tubes, whether they can do it in the office or if they have to do surgery for it to remove, um, them, yeah. to remove the tubes. But it's been so funny because seeing the difference, it's like, wow. Day to day, we see the difference yeah. of the scabs going away. I yeah. don't know if this is like an acid or what it does to the scabs. It's but working though. It's working. Yeah. 
So hopefully they can get me cleared up and then decide, can we rip them out in the office or do we have to put you under and take them out? Get them out of my ears because they're not helping me. No. And then I don't know what I'm going to do for my hearing. I have hearing aid coverage. Did you know? Yeah. It's oh, the first maybe, time ever I've had hearing maybe aid Maybe I'll coverage. be putting hearing aids in too. I don't know. Yeah. They're life changing. When you get the right fit hearing aid, they're life changing. Yeah. You went through years of not being happy with your hearing aids. Yeah. Two two different sets of hearing aids. The ones that I have right now, um, they are... Uh, they're the best. Uh, by uh, Signia. It used to be Siemens, and they're made specifically for my iPhone, so I can um, adjust everything. Adjust the volume. Answer phone loud. calls. Yeah, that's the funniest thing is answering the phone calls because I'll be talking to Bill, and if I have the phone in my pocket, I'll be chatting with him like at the grocery store. Somebody I'm like, they don't have this. Crazy. And they're like, I'm sorry, excuse me. I was like, oh, I was just talking to my husband and kind of looking around like. I don't see anybody. And the microphone is where? Is it your phone that is it's the, the microphone? Phone, right, the phone. So but, if you just have it in your pocket or near right. you, you can talk in the phone. Or especially when I have my hair up like, like it is right now and I'm listening to music if I'm in the grocery store or whatever and I'm listening to an audiobook, which is usually what I do, especially at my break uh, at work. And people will come in and they'll start chatting. I'm like, hang on a minute. Turn so I can turn I'm my doing. audiobook off. And they're like, what are you doing? I said, I was listening to an audiobook. And then... Of course, they don't see any wires or anything, so it always floors them, and then they want to see how the programs work. And see, I would like that when I'm like out shoveling snow, <laughs> like like want yeah. to turn music on and just go, you know, yeah, do something like that. It's great. Every time I hook headphones up, the cord gets caught or something. They just need to invest in I YouTube have... or something. <laughs> I was waiting. My phone rang, and I in the morning I hadn't had my hearing aids on yet, and I was like, "Hello, oh, I had to hold the phone to my ear, like." Oh. <laughs> like so a normal hard. person. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm not liking that. Hang on a minute. Let me put my hearing aids on. Mm. <laughs> but it's real convenient because you put your hearing aids on, you're like, oh, okay, let me check the date on that. And they don't know that I'm not, I don't have the phone up to my ears. Sure. So they don't realize that uh, it I'm works. listening to it works them. For you. Yeah, works really well. I'm spoiled by them. Yeah. But hearing aid coverage every four years, I have, so I think, $2,000 worth them. of um, hearing aids that I can get. Go check it out when it, when these come time to be needed replaced. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy. We got to get into the eye doctor too. Yes, those are made. I've been on the, on the phone making appointments oh, left and right. She tells me every week, you got to go here and here, and then you got to take the girls here and here. And, yeah, and then so I I've go been, here, and then you go there, and then Lauren goes there. <laughs> yeah, every week I'm just like, what am I doing? So she tells me. Yes, thank goodness for Google Calendar. Yep. That's all I can say. Well, we're going to get to work here on cleaning the house, getting stuff done. I'm sure if anybody's hung out with us this long, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we tend to babble a little bit. But, um, yeah, we're just sticking with it. I mean, I haven't, like, strayed from my keto. Just haven't really gotten progress. I've got so many other things going on. Um, how are you doing? Are you even tracking anymore? She said she was going to track, and then she didn't. So I have I not been. It. I just I feel like... I promise. I, when I get back to my regular routine, well, it's, it's, it's just, just... But I still, you don't have to answer to anyone. It's just, are yeah. you or aren't you? And you said, I'm, I'm going to start tracking. I know, I did. But I'm still eating, you know, the... The core things, the right. basics. Tuna, I mean, after 90 salad. weeks, we kind of know the things that work and right. the, the things that we shouldn't be eating. Yeah. It's not and, like we're running to McDonald's me, and eating french fries. No, no, not at all. Um, but it's just... Although you'd think I was with the way my skin's been breaking out. I don't know what's going on. I'm 52 years old and I'm like getting zits. I'm like, what the heck? I'm surprised that everybody at work has been complaining about that because, of course, we're in the mask for eight hours a day. Yeah. Um, mine Their haven't, skin. though, but I think it's because I have cotton next to my skin. Oh, yeah. Because like I make my paper. own masks versus the, um, paper masks. the paper masks that everybody else is those wearing. Those are uncomfortable. They, they are. I've worn those in Costco for a 20-minute run-through, and I couldn't wait to get that thing off my yeah. face. I can't imagine. I put them imagine. on the other day. We went, and I'm like, oh, wasn't thinking about having to go in anywhere, and I ended up having to go in, and so I put one of those masks on. And, of course, when I took it off, lost both my hearing aids right off with the mask, so... So the other design that you do is yeah. way better for that. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't have $8,000 to replace these hearing aids. When I took mine off, I actually took my glasses off <laughs> accidentally. They somehow got, like, intertwined or it's something. It's so weird. It was weird, because I went to go take the mask off, and I'm like, whoa, I just about dropped my glasses. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be a bumbling mess if I had to wear that eight hours a day. Yep. 
All right, well, I'm going to do it for like the seventh time and say, everybody have a great weekend. If you're doing keto, stick with it. It does work. Maybe we're not the best host of that. No, we are. We we're are. doing good, and we've and we've continued to. We just talked about this yesterday. Even though we're not continuing to go down like a major success story on Instagram or something, right. uh, we still haven't gone up either. We're just kind of just a matter of a few pounds. There's a little bit know. of a holding pattern at the moment. Yeah, got a lot of other things that are non keto related going on. Not an excuse, just stuff that I'm trying to deal Real with. Life. Yeah. We're not Real starving couple, ourselves to, to lose people. all the weight, you know, just, oh, don't eat for a week and then you lose, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I could not eat for a week and lose six pounds and then next week I'll be back up four. Right. You know, so, so but no, I, I do like to try and get a day of fasting in. I didn't this week. We were, we were really active though. Yeah. Very, I was very happy with my, like my Fitbit numbers and everything. Yeah. Yeah. I was really happy with how much biking we got done. Yeah. So, and if I wasn't feeling as broken as I am, my back is out, um, then I'd be saying, let's do one today, too. Yeah. Yeah. If she could lift the bikes, I'd have her put them on the bike rack. They're heavy. They're 70 pounds. Each bike is 70 pounds. So I try and make it lighter by taking the battery yeah. off and things. So makes a difference. And it yeah. makes a difference when you're pedaling, when that battery goes out. Um, it's happened once. And if it happens again, I'll take the battery off yours and put it in my backpack thing, in my bag. And then your bike will be, what, 12 pounds lighter, I think. <laughs> The batteries are heavy. Yeah, they are. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks so for watching. Out. Thanks for hanging out with us. We yeah. appreciate you all, and I uh, hope you have a great weekend. Yep. Hopefully, you'll see us more this week, too. Yeah. If we can get Stacy to do maybe those cookies, those are good. Nice treat, little treat, too. A little treat. Yeah. During the week. I don't know. Last time I made them, I took them to flour, work. Right? And... It's the base. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, um, she made them a few weeks ago, and you took them to work, and they were like, really I need that excited. recipe. Like three different people ask me for the recipe. And here's the kicker. We keep changing the recipe. Each time yeah. we make it, we reduce the sweeteners because yeah. really don't need that much sweetener. In my opinion, it's way too sweet. I'm not a sweets person. As big as I am, I'm just I don't, not a sweets person. I am. Yeah. So every time she makes that, I say, take another half cup out. Take another half. It's Splenda that you're using, right? Uh, Swerve. Swerve. Excuse me. Swerve. Swerve. Yeah. yeah. It's one of those S words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I swear. But uh, yeah, it's just, it's for me, it's way too sweet. I want, I want even less. I want like 25% of the recipe is what I want. And I want to try that cookie because I don't like all that sweet. Yeah. After two bites, I'm like, ah, I don't want any more. It's too sweet. Same with that uh, French soap pie that you made. Yeah. Way too sweet. Way too sweet. Like two bites, it tastes really good. Bite or two. And then it's like, I don't want it. Yeah, with French oak pie, though, in general, um, it's more of a richer taste, so you don't mm. eat the whole thing. Just give me swerve on a teaspoon, and it's the same thing. That's too much sweet. Too sweet. Too sweet. Too sweet. Too sweet. You're just too sweet. That's why I'm diabetic, because you're just so sweet. Remember? I sent her a text and said, I figured out why I'm still diabetic, because you're just so sweet. Oh. Come on, 30 years, you're still getting these little fun texts? Send me one more text, I swear I'm going to turn my phone off. That's my wife. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye. I use that for the thumbnail. <laughs> no.